Hey, I'm Thomas Plavin. I'm executive vice president of CalSpan. Many, many years. I had a variety of, uh, of uh, activities taken on this, done on this campus here, and now we're looking forward to the bridge project. Uh, the goal of the project is to make sure that the infrastructures that are uh, in the United States today uh, can fully uh, can be upgraded, and the testing that will be done here will reinforce that uh, they can. And why do we need to test bridges? So we don't fall off them. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't. So. Okay, my name is Andre Filiatro. I'm the director of MCIR and also a professor in the Department of Civil, Structural, and Environmental Engineering. Because our, uh, you know, our infrastructure infrastructure is actually decaying, and they are also subjected more and more to uh, large extreme events. And uh, we can do things in the laboratory, but to hear this association with CalSpan and the availability of this land allow us to test full-scale bridges, which has been done very seldom in the United States and anywhere in the world. I'm George Lee. I'm a professor in civil engineering. I'm the previous director of MC here. I thought the um, bridge design, bridge performance against earthquakes has been my research area. The, uh, really, the first time I know of, we can really take a full-size bridges and it's subject to the so-called near-field large ground motion due to earthquake, the response of it. Right now, we're te testing the performance of bearings, bridge bearings. The next phase will be doing large-scale earthquake testing. Why are you doing this here in Buffalo? Because for, for a change, the weather conditions, uh, the four seasons that we have here are perfectly uh, are perfect for this uh, this kind of project, because these bridges will uh, will be evaluated under all weather environmental conditions. So what's going to happen is each side of the bridge, it's a one-lane bridge, is going to be pushed in the middle by a hydraulic actuator. The bridge is going to move each side four inches, and then suddenly we're going to drop the pressure in the hydraulic actuator, which is going to make the bridge vibrate as they would in a real earthquake. And then we're going to modify, we're going to verify the change of properties of the bearings with time and with change of temperature over a five-year period. We'll be able, to test, be able to test every week, and basically following the change of properties of the isolation bearings with temperature and so on for over five full seasons. Well, we're not really simulating an earthquake of any magnitude per se. We're just going to deform the bridge and the bearings up to their limit that they're supposed to be displacing and just let them go. So we're just going to have a few cycles going back and forth. It's not simulating a real full earthquake, but at least it makes the bearings vibrate as they would be in a real earthquake.